So what we're looking at here is a modification to our simple proportional controller. Instead of just two statements here, calculating error and calculating output, we've added a couple more statements. One of them is doing the feature of set point tracking. The other one's doing a feature of output tracking. We have added a single bit to our ladder logic program. When this bit is on, it's our auto manual bit, it passes imaginary power onto the math block that is calculating the output based on error, gain, and bias. However, when we switch to manual mode, that bit turns off. These two normally closed bits in our contacts turn on. They send imaginary power over to these copy blocks. The first one copies the current process variable value into set point, making these two track. The next one takes the current output value and copies it to the bias, making those two track. The idea being when we switch back to automatic mode, we begin in a condition of zero error because these two are equal. And we begin with a condition where the bias has been set equal to our last output. So the output starts controlling where we left off. Let me demonstrate how this works. I'm going to pull up the data view right here. We can see our variables. We're calculating the output. Here's our process variable. Here's our set point. There's our bias. And we have a gain of three. And currently, our auto manual bit is on. So we're in an automatic mode. Let's say I want to go to manual mode. First, what I do is I switch the auto manual bit to the off state. There we go. Now this is off. You notice while we're off, the PV and set point exactly track each other. Now what I'm going to do is change my output to some different value, like let's say 80%. When I do that, the motor will spin faster. You can hear the motor spinning faster. The PV jumped up. The set point jumped up right along with it because they're tracking in manual mode. Now I'm going to switch to automatic mode. So I go on for the C1 bit. I save that. And now, notice how the output is starting to go deviate from 80% as the process variable deviates from its last value. The set point remains wherever it was at the moment I transitioned from manual mode to automatic. It was tracking process variable. It's now locked into a stable value since I made the transition to automatic mode. At this point, I can enter a different set point. Let's say, whoops, I'll go right here. Let's say a set point of 50%. And I will save that value. And we can hear the controller control a different motor speed. I have a little bit of error now because it's a proportional only controller. What's going to happen is the uh, it'll develop an error of any other set point value than the one that it was stabilized at coming out of manual mode. But we do have at this point a fully featured proportional only controller. It's got set point tracking, it's got output tracking, I can change the gain, uh, I can do all that through the data view of the PLC editor. Now one Final detail. What I'm showing you right here is very crude. No operator in his or her right mind would use this software to run their process. They would likely want to hit buttons on an HMI, a human machine interface. We can program that as well to have access to all these memory locations. So, for example, you'd have a button on the HMI that switches from auto to manual. You'd have a nice, well formatted display that would show you process variable and set point. Uh, you would have uh, maybe another page or another screen on the HMI that we could change the gain and bias values. So in real life, with the real process, what we'd be doing here is we'd be accessing all these variables through some more convenient interface. We're simply looking at a condition now where we have this set up through the PLC program editor. It makes it simple and easy for me to demonstrate on a wide screen. But just understand that all these variables can be transported over a network to be shown on a computer remotely and still have this PLC doing the calculations for proportional control. Meanwhile, some remote location through an HMI panel or through another personal computer, an operator can be changing 